where are they finding these guys? Maybe you have a little bit of inside information because every year that seems like they're bringing another European seven foot two or higher, or I guess just foreign because Zach is Canadian. But how are they doing it? Because clearly they're the only ones who are kind of scouting these guys and finding them every year compared to all these other schools. So do they have someone on the road at all times or do they just have that in where people know this is a foreign big man you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of in the foreign thing because uh, Matt Harms was from the Netherlands, I think. Um, and then uh, Zach Eady Canada and then, yeah, William Berg from is it Sweden, maybe. But um, yeah, so they've had the foreign thing. But even before then, you know, Isaac Haas, yeah. uh, it was from Alabama, which is which was pretty much foreign to Indiana. Yeah. Um, you know, Alabama's a, a long way away. And so uh, and then we have I think it's just kind of been Purdue has really kind of be come known for having quality big men um you know aj hammond isaac haas Travion williams juan johnson uh, matt harms all these guys that coach painter has been able to coach caleb swanning and it's just been a long list of, of big guys that have been really successful in our system and so i think uh the word gets around that if you're a tall guy uh, purdue is a school to look at and, you know, as far as William Burke's recruitment, I don't think because of COVID and stuff, I don't think they really saw him in person a whole lot. I think a lot of it was watching tape and film and just seeing enough potential there. Uh, you know, similar with the way they saw Zach Eady. They saw, you know, he was a really under-recruited guy and they just saw enough potential that, you know, they, they thought they could uh, get him in. And as Coach Painter said, he doesn't know when they'll be good, but he thinks they'll be good at some point. And uh, it's just a matter of when. Obviously, Zach Eady was really good right away. And with Matt Harms transferring, uh, Zach went from probably a, a likely redshirt to, wow, this dude is too good to keep off the floor and, and played a bunch as a freshman, even for a guy as raw as he was as far as lack of experience. Uh, we'll see with the William Berg situation. I, I'm guessing he'll redshirt just because uh, Zach and Caleb first are still in the program and, and are, are really good in their own right with experience. But uh if he does redshirt, then, then time will tell as far as when he, you know, impacts the program, but I'm sure he will because he's a seven footer at Purdue.